haven't you often wondered that the women in the Bible who were considered barren, whom people laughed at, mocked, taunted, were the women whom God now blessed with an incredible child. So we see Sarah, she was barren. And when God finally blessed her, she had Isaac. Isaac had Jacob, who became the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. We can see Hannah. Hannah was barren. She was being taunted by her, her rival, Penina. Hannah went on to have the prophet Samuel. Uh, name one child that Penina had. It's impossible. Even though she had maybe 10 sons before Hannah finally gave birth. See Rachel, uh, Jacob's beloved wife. He, she was also barren. Leah was having babies up and down. The maid servants were having babies up and down for, for Jacob. But eventually, when God opened her womb, she had Joseph. Joseph went on to save the world at that time. Without Joseph, the world would have been wiped out because of that famine. And God gave Joseph the wisdom. You know, he, he had favor everywhere he had. He, he, he had that excellent spirit. And today we're going to look at another woman, Elizabeth. Elizabeth and her husband, Zechariah, were both old, but they didn't have a child. Uh, Zechariah was a priest and um, he, he served in the Holy of Holies in the temple. So he's a Levite. And uh, Elizabeth also descended from Aaron. So they're both Levites. And the Bible calls them, you can see the story in Luke chapter 1. The Bible calls both of them righteous, you know, upstanding. They obeyed the law. They loved God with all their heart. But they didn't have a child. So if you're waiting on God for something, don't give up hope. Because he's preparing the best for you. So that when it comes, people will know that this is not the work of man. Only God can do this. You know, he likes to take all the glory. He doesn't want to give his glory to any man. So you just hang on in there and keep on praying. So it's obvious that Elizabeth and her husband had been praying for so long for a baby. I think the uh, Muslim tradition puts Zechariah at around 92 years of age. So he wasn't uh, young at all. So his wife will not be that far off maybe in her 80s she won't be that far off so they were both old and they didn't have a kid but they were still praying because when the angel gabriel appeared to zechariah in the temple when he was um, doing the offering the angel said god has heard your prayer see god has heard your prayer that means they had been praying for god to have a prayer to hear god has heard your prayer and you will have a son and then um, Zechariah uh, kind of disbelieved. I think he looked at his body. He looked at his wife who was past childbearing age. And says, how can this be? And um, the angel Gabriel said, I stand in the presence of the Lord. And I came to give you this message. And you doubted. Well, the sign will be, you will be mute until that boy is born. He's going to be a boy. His name will be John. It's going to turn the people's hearts back towards the Lord. There's going to be great joy uh, at his birth, the news of his birth. There will be gladness. He must not drink wine, any strong drink. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even while he's yet in his mother's womb. The angel told him everything. You see, the Bible says to whom much is given, much is required. Zechariah is a priest. He's from uh, the tribe of uh, Aaron, a uh, Levite. He's a Levite. Um, um, Abijah was also one of the, the priests that were in the list of those who came out of Babylon. Nehemiah's list. The name is mentioned there. Zechariah came from that list. So it's a holy list. A list of people who are set apart for God. He, didn't, he, he, he doubted. And uh, so the angel said, okay, you become mute until the child is born, until this prophecy is fulfilled, because you doubted to whom much is given, much is required. As a priest, 
he wasn't expected to doubt that's why he got that because if you see in the case of mary whom we shall also do soon when she said how can this be seeing i don't know a man you know i don't have a husband i'm a virgin how can this be she was not a uh, struck mute because she was a young girl you know she was innocent she was naive you know what did she know so she was not but a uh, uh, zachariah should know better See, that's why the Bible says that judgment shall start in the house of the Lord. Inside the church, judgment, because we should know better. So, and the, the people were waiting outside for Zechariah to come out. After offering the sacrifice, he was in there for so long. And when he finally came out, he couldn't talk. So they knew that he had seen an angel. And so, um, as, as the angel said, Elizabeth soon got pregnant. You know, and uh, she, she, she rejoiced, she marveled. They were so happy, but she hid herself away. She did not come out of the house. Maybe she was embarrassed that, you know, as old as she is, she's, she's pregnant. You know, I don't know. Or she just wants to hide herself away from prying evil eyes. You know, just get out of the, the limelight so that there won't be too much news broadcast about her. So she just... I don't know but she hid herself away and so in between that the angel gabriel appeared to mary you know i won't go too much into that because we'll do it soon and then also told her that she was going to be pregnant and bear a son and the angel told mary that your cousin elizabeth is also with child and immediately the angel departed mary got up and went to visit elizabeth and when she got there, Elizabeth was about six months gone. And uh, she greeted um, Elizabeth. And when uh, Elizabeth heard the voice of Mary, the baby in Elizabeth's womb, John the Baptist, leaped for joy. So he was the first person ever to recognize Jesus Christ, even before he was born. And Elizabeth said, um, um, Hail Mary, you know, blessed art thou among women. Uh, when I heard your voice, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And to watch which honor is this, that the mother of my Lord should come and visit me. And they both said how the angel visit, uh, you know, the visitation and things to come. And they both rejoiced. And, um, and um, then later, Elizabeth went into labor. She gave birth to a son. And when all the family came together on the eighth day, to circumcise the baby and to name him they wanted to name him zechariah after his dad because that's the tradition and uh, elizabeth said no his name is john and the family said what kind of a name is that nobody in the family ever has borne that name john N uh, his name is zechariah after his dad and she said no his name is a uh, uh, john so they gave uh, Zachariah a tablet, not our modern day electronic tablets, a tablet to write the name of the baby. And he wrote on there, his name shall be called John. And immediately his, his tongue was set loose and he could talk and everybody marveled and wondered which kind of a ba baby is this. And, um, and, and as we saw in um, um, Salome, we saw about uh, John the Baptist. We saw briefly, but that was towards the end of his life. And he grew up filled with the Holy Spirit. And, he, and everything that God said concerning him, he fulfilled unlike uh, Samson, who truncated his own destiny in the lap of a woman. Uh, John the Baptist, he, 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 was, he grew up knowing what his uh, purpose, his, his mission is on earth. And he fulfilled it. And he proclaimed the Lord, he was Jesus' forerunner. And many people came and they got baptized. And as the angel Gabriel said, he turned many hearts back to Yahweh. And they stopped their idol worshipping until he spoke out against Herod and Herodias. And then he died. So this is Elizabeth, a woman of faith. Even she did, she was not daunted by her family, her husband's family. Everybody came together and said, no, we're going to call him this name. And in those days, you know, it's like she didn't really have a say. She's a woman and it's a man's duty to name a kid. But she said, no, she put her foot down. His name shall be called John. 
we're not calling him any other name and then you know before then god uh, opened up uh, zachariah's uh, mouth his throat his tongue came loose and he confirmed what his wife had said so she's a formidable woman and um, she recognized the uh, uh, jesus christ she called mary the mother of her lord so she had that reverence the bible says that they were both um righteous people they both feared the lord they both uh, um, obeyed the law they did everything right and god chose her to bring john the baptist into the world so if you are waiting on god for anything as i said do not give up hope whilst there is life there is hope and there's hope for a tree caught down. So don't say that your body is all dried up. It's too late. It's never too late. Not in God's book. It's never too late. So thank you. This is Elizabeth. I'll see you in the next woman of the Bible. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Bye.